it's early. It's very early on a Sunday, but I just had to drive to the studio as fast as I could because I have unfinished business. Yesterday, the new huge, very huge speakers arrived. And unfortunately, it took longer to do all of the installations, so only half of it is done. Today, the challenge finishing the second half and hopefully being able at the end of the day to listen to these speakers and enjoy them as much as possible. Hello, my new friends. And here's the other one. And here is the absolute chaos. But yesterday we finished one side, next up, the other side. Finally, this might look fast in the videos because it's just like cut, 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 but in real life, hours. It's very slow and I have to do it very precise. But that's it, no more cutting, the rest is, is really fun compared to the cut. Welcome. Hello. Perfect timing. Marius is spending his entire weekend with me here to install these ATCs, so huge thanks to him. And like the timing is really good because now it's time to get these bad boys in there. <sighs> it looks epic. They're in. They're finally in the wall. Like the cover is still missing, but it's actually good it's missing so I can show you the layers. It's, it's a little crazy. We went overboard just to make sure there is no transfer of vibration. It's fully isolated, isolated again, dampened again, special material. Let me run you through this madness of isolation. It all starts here on the back wall. We got rubber right here, concrete, a different kind of concrete in between a spring. Same again here, the spring in between, and the spring also has uh, rock wool in there. Again, concrete, concrete, spring, concrete, spring. Three times concrete on top to make it extra heavy. A box, a layer of wood. You can actually see it from the front. We painted it silver just for now to match it a little. Then very special right here, this stuff is called Zulumea. It's actually being used for, for train tracks to dampen the vibration. So if a train passes, nothing shakes or it shakes less. This is exactly calculated for the weight of the speaker. Then a layer of wood to transfer it equally to the damper. Then another material that is just like increasing the height of the speaker. Then of course the speaker itself, which is just beautiful. And very important, there's always like an air gap right here. So the box doesn't touch the wall actually. And then again, this box doesn't touch the actual speaker. Triple isolation, I think it's enough. And then on top, there will be a cover of metal. I'm still not sure which kind of color and which kind of like brushing of metal, if it's very reflective or not reflective, I still have to check, but it will have the exact cutout of the speaker. So you won't see everything you can see right now. It will be just the speaker and the covering, which will be reflective. Same as the foil, the foil is just like a placeholder. I hope within like two or three weeks, I can finally decide what to put on there, order it cut it out, put it in front, and then the front wall is also 90% done. And next, I'm getting to the really exciting bit. Marius is already checking the hands. We need to get them out of the box, install two cables per speaker, and then finally, the magic moment. It's about time. The first listening. I'm so excited. Ooh. Are you excited? Oh uh, yeah. It looks <laughs> epic. A little bit too big, the speakers. But epic. Speakers can't be too big. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. You're right. Big and heavy is always good. Let's start with a low volume. Which sound? I'll 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 pick one of my own. The honor is save the day. That's you you don't know that one, right? 
No, I don't know. It's the second one that is signed to the label of Lost Frequencies. Almost finished. Okay. Really loud? Really loud. Really loud. I was famous in the room. Ooh, can you describe it in one word? Epic. Epic, okay. Epic's good. I, I would have said like brutal. Like it sounds bigger, wider. Yeah, but but not these uh Brutal bass monsters. No, 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 so, no. So it's, no bass. It's it's very clean, tight. Poo, man. Okay, we'll just sit here for five hours and, and listen to every song on Spotify. <laughs> What a joy. It's it's hard to put in words. I, I wish like once COVID is over, I'll do another open door day. Everyone can come sit here, listen to these speakers. You have to experience them for yourself. Wow. I will definitely need a couple of days to get used to them. Probably tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, like the first real working with these new speakers kind of session. I'm really excited and thrilled. Also, don't forget there's there is a new sample pack. If you're interested, go check it out. It's linked down below in the description with like all of the sounds recorded in here, process, everything that I also use in my productions. And it's like 50% off for the very first week. You got six or five more days to get it. And on top, you're getting all of the old sample packs included, so a bunch of gigabytes, link down below. And yeah, uh, if I had to try to describe it, it's like, uh, it's like sitting in a sound bubble full of excitement and enjoyment. It's very overwhelming right now, so I really can't put it in words, I, I can't, but I also want to point out for all of the, the people that start out making music, you don't need all of the fancy equipment. You don't need these speakers to make music. I started with absolutely nothing. You can go back five years here on this channel, see me struggle at the very beginning. So if you would ask me why I got these speakers and all of the gear, cause it's just fun. 